Our cars have become more and more sophisticated, and that means automakers need to keep up with technology. But there is a vital component in short supply these days. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers explains why auto dealers have to wait for new vehicles to sell. If you drive by any auto dealer, you'll obviously see cars, just not as many as usual. Because inventory is low. The fact is, sales have been super brisk in every dealer, in, in, really in the whole country. I don't think anyone saw this coming. What was coming? A shortage of small but crucial microchips. And these cars now, they're you know, computers on wheels. They have many, many chips. The chip is like the brain to the car. Newer models can have up to 50 microchips, powering automatic safety features, navigation, and much more. We would not be talking about microchips 10 years ago. No, we wouldn't. According to industry analysts, the cost of electronics in cars is increasing every decade. The average electronic cost is now 40% of the total price and is estimated to increase to 45% by 2030. Experts say there are a few reasons for this chip shortage. The first was the supply chains got hit because of closures. COVID-19 related closures. And then auto dealers got out of the manufacturing order line when folks were buying fewer cars and more smartphones. So the chip makers changed gears. Now that they're manufacturing those, they would have to retool their uh, manufacturing lines to produce the microchips that are necessary for the cars. UMaine computer engineering professor Nuri Imanutolo says only two companies in the world sell these chips, so new facilities need to be built. Probably over $2 billion uh, these days. Regardless of the dealer, consumers can still expect limited inventory for the next few months. It's impacting pretty much everything we sell. I can still get for an example, the Tahoe, I just might not be able to get a couple of the options that I want to order it. Order now to make sure you get all the features that come with microchips or choose from what's available that might not have every feature you hoped to drive off with. Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine. Now, dealers Joe Quirk and Adam Lee say the microchip shortage is not yet affecting used car prices, but that might change in the coming months.